Hello friends, my name is Rajiv Mirchanda. I am studying in Toshayden College, Brampton. My, my program is Electromechanical Engineering. Today we are going to present you a small video explaining our uh, experiment from an engineering material test, testing lab. Uh, the name of the experiment is ultrasonic testing. It is a non-destructive test. Uh, the non-destructive tests are the tests in which we do not damage the, uh, do not do the physical damage to the material, to the test material. Uh, these, in these tests, uh, for example, uh, the ultrasonic testing, the radiographic test, and uh, the dye penetration test, these are all other tests in which we do not uh, physically damage the material. On the other, on the other side, the destructive tests are the uh, tests in which uh, we physically damage the material. For example, the ISO impact test. In this test, we uh, break the material by uh, by the impact load uh, in order to check the impact uh, impact uh, maximum impact load. Uh, the second one is tensile test, the UPS. Uh, in this test, we test the material up to the up to its breaking point in order to check the maximum tensile strength. Uh, strength. Uh, the, the third one is the, the Rockwell Hardener test. In this test, we uh, make the impression on the test material by penetrating the penetrator into it. So these all tests contain uh, the physical damage to the specimen. Uh, so today we are going to explain you the ultrasonic test, the special validity test. Uh, in this test, we use the sound waves in order to check the flow inside the material to, to get the location of the flow in, inside the material. Not the upper side, but inside the material. Uh, now, my friends, Kanam Singh is going to explain you the ultrasonic testing in more details. And also, he is going to explain you the ultrasonic material testing machine in some details. Good morning, friends. My name is Satnam Singh Saishpath and my student ID is 9913869964. Right now, I am enrolled in Electromechanical Engineering course at Shiden College Davis Campus. So today, I am going to explain about the various parts which we use in entity test in order to fully complete the experiment. As my friend Rajat has explained to you before, what is entity test and what is the difference between destructive and non-destructive test. So, I am going to elaborate upon the parts which we use in ultrasonic, ultrasonic testing machine. So overall, there are three parts which we use in ultrasonic testing machine and those parts are pulsar, a transducer, and the third one is the display device. So every of the three parts has different features and different functions uh, which help us to complete the experiment. So by use of entity, we used to have a look at the properties of materials without causing any damage to the material. So that's why we used to have a So this is called a transducer and it is connected to a wedge. So this wedge is the part which we pass over the sample. This is olive oil and ruler and this is our display screen. And the sam these are our samples. We have two types of sample and the first one is with the visible holes this sample and the second one is sample with hidden holes each of the exp uh, each of the sample is 9 inch into 4 inch talking about the display device we have to check each and everything in order to be sure that everything is fully good so first we have to check each and every function you can see that PDB and PDA value is at 0 0 so we can say that the device is ideal so now I am going to insert the transducer 
you can also see this interlocking projections so I'm gonna fix it and tighten it the upper screw and the lower screw as well so now I will on it from here so on the display screen there is a red band which shows that our device is on so this is our wedge which we use to this is our wedge which we use to pass over the sample so we have to apply olive oil in order to be sure that there is no ref no reflection of sound waves from the outer surface of the material so now I am applying olive oil over the surface of material so now first we are performing this experiment over the sample which is having visible holes so now I am assuming the left and the upper corner as origin so from there we will measure the readings so this 104 here indicates that there is a hole this is the maximum probability that there is a hole or any other shrinkage so as we move this wedge the reading decreases and increases which shows that there is less probability of hole now taking the origin taking the right and upper corner as origin I am performing the same experiment so you can see I'm going to slide the, uh, the wedge over the surface so you can see that the reading is 76 so means that there was a hole so you can see now the reading it's greater than 104 percentage and you can also see the distance so this distance is measured from the right and the upper corner which is taken as origin so now you can also see that there is percentage of 104 which shows that this at this position and this axis from at this depth and this horizontal distance we have a hole so everything can be clear, clearly seen from our display device and now you can have a glance at our displaying device everything is good this was our mother when we get knowledge about the process. So now I'm going to perform the same experiment over the sample tool which has hidden holes. So you can see I'm going to slide my wedge over the outer surface. So the right and the upper corner is assumed as origin. So from there I will measure the horizontal and the vertical distance. So you can see I am sliding. So we get 104 at the both sides. So it means that we have two holes at different depth but same horizontal distance. So now I am moving further. You can see the percentage is 10%. So now again at B section I got percentage of 104. So this is my distance from horizontal and the vertical distance. So now again, I am sliding and the reading is again 104 at A section. So this means that from this distance we have a hole. So in this way we can find the hidden holes and the position of holes by using this non-destructive testing. So my friend Sitanav Singh has beautifully explained you the whole procedure. So after doing this experiment we got these results. Uh, this is our the hidden holes uh, sample. So the location of this sample, uh, the holes are like this. Uh, so basically we have divided this 4 inch part into 2. This 
upper bar is more or less A part and this one is B part. So uh, this is a reference from the x-axis. So after starting up, we get this result. This is like two holes on there, which is a distance of 6.75 inch from this point. Uh, these are all uh, in the same vert uh, vertical line. So they share the same x value. And the y value is for them is like 3.16 for this hole. It is in the B part. And this one is 0.99, this one is the A part. So the second hole is uh, over here. It's in the B part. The distance from uh, the top, the y axis is like 2.99. And from this part is 3 inch. And the uh, final and the fourth hole, you can see that is 2.10 inch from the upper side. It's is A and B both parts, so mostly the A. So from this point is 2 inch. So overall, we got two holes over here, one here, and one here. So overall, we got four holes. These are our observations. So this ultrasonic testing, we have explained everything to you. Uh, at the last, this, uh, this testing has some merits and demerits as well. The merits are we do not do any physical damage. Uh, we do not cause any physical damage to the uh, specimen. Uh, we can check uh, the strength, the any defect of the material. We can do this test like with uh, the on the part which is already installed. Uh, like for example, the railway tracks. They are already laid down and they are like very old. So we, in order to ch check is there any defect in in between the lines, we can do this test. Uh, on the other hand, also in the power engineering. Uh, for example, the high pressure vessel, the high, the, the, uh, we can say the steam drum, it is a like high, very highly pressure vessel. So in order to check uh, the old boiler steam drum, we can use this test to check is there any defect in between the sheets or not. And uh, so we, uh, this test has very wide uh, use in, in the industry. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed our video and get, uh, get an overview of ultrasonic uh, Testing an MDT test. Uh, thanks for watching the video.